By default, all of mDaemon's files are organized in a flat file structure contained within the mDaemon directory on your computer's hard drive. When we double-click on the mDaemon directory, we see a collection of sub-folders. The app directory contains mDaemon's main executable and configuration files. Other key folders include the logs folder, which contains mDaemon's log files, the public folders and queues directories, and the users folder, which contains the email messages for your users. In this lesson, I'll go over some of these folders in greater detail. Let's first look inside the app directory. In the app directory, you'll find key executable files and configuration files. Let's go over the key executable files first. The account prune.exe file is used for removing old mail and inactive users and archiving old log files. CF engine and cfilter.exe are both used by the content filter. Import nt.exe is triggered when you select Import Accounts from SAM Active Directory from within the Accounts menu. List prune.exe is used to delete mailing list messages that do not contain parsable addresses. This file is triggered automatically when List Pruner Deletes Messages That Don't Contain Parsable Addresses is checked under the Preferences Miscellaneous menu. mdaemon.exe launches mdaemon as an application and mdlaunch.exe launches mdaemon as a system service. mdmigrator is an application that will import your accounts and mailing lists from a Microsoft Exchange server into mdaemon. mdstats.exe launches the Queues and Statistics Manager application, which can also be launched from within the Queues menu in mdaemon. mdupdater will check for mdaemon updates. and unwise.exe is triggered when you uninstall mdaemon. Now let's go over the key configuration files. If you're not sure what a particular file does, you can open the filelist.dat file for your preferred language to see a list of all files in the mdaemon app directory. When an account alias is added or removed, the alias.dat file is updated. You can open all configuration files in Notepad to view their contents. The alias.dat file shows all aliases and the accounts that they represent. Lines beginning with the pound sign are comments. mDaemon will ignore these lines, so if you need to disable a line of text so that it is not read by mDaemon, you can simply put the pound sign at the beginning of the line and then save the file. The account templates.dat file stores all settings for your account templates, which are configured from the Groups and Templates screen under the Accounts menu. The autoresp.dat file is updated whenever an autoresponder is configured for an account. This file shows whether or not an autoresponder is enabled for each account listed, which autoresponse script will be used, and whether or not the message will be passed to a process. The sensor.dat file is a template that is triggered when a message is found that violates an account's local mail only restriction. The cfrules.dat file contains your content filter rules and is updated whenever you create, modify or delete a content filter rule in mdaemon. The domains.dat file contains general settings for all domains in mdaemon. When domain sharing is used to share a domain between two or more mdaemon servers, the data for each server is stored in the domain sharing.dat file. If mail forwarding is configured for an account, a record of it will be stored in the forward.dat file. Settings for all gateways are stored in the gateways.dat file. The gatewayusers.dat file lists all valid recipients of gateway mail. The graylist.dat file contains a list of all graylisting triplets. A graylisting triplet consists of an IP address, a sender, and a recipient. Graylisting is configured under the security menu in mdaemon. If you have any account groups configured, those groups are listed in the groups.dat file. You also have configuration files for host screening, the IP cache, IP screening and IP shielding. All of these settings are configured under the security menu in mdaemon. The install.log file can be used for troubleshooting installation issues. The mdaemon.ini file contains your primary registration information and registration key, as well as many other settings such as domain and log settings and much more. The directories section in this file shows where the various mail queues, log files and public folders are stored. If you need to store your logs, queues, or public folders on a separate hard drive, you can update this file to reflect the locations of these files as long as a UNC path or drive letter has been mapped to the new location. 
Your multipop mail collection settings are stored in the multipop.dat file. And your MX cache settings, which are configured under the DNS menu of the server settings configuration screen, are located in the mxcache.dat file. If you have configured a site policy under the security settings menu, you can view its contents in the policy.dat file. When mail quotas are configured, the quota counts.dat file is updated to keep track of quota statistics for affected accounts. If you have added addresses to the recipient blacklist, that information is stored in the RCPT blacklist.dat file. Data that is entered on the event scheduling configuration screen is stored in the schedule.dat file. You also have configuration files for any sender blacklists that are configured and any spam honeypots that are added under the spam filter. By default, when an account is added in mdaemon, a reference to that account is also added to the user list.dat file. This file stores a reference to the mail directory for each account and other account parameters. Be very careful if you need to edit this file, because if any of the columns are misaligned by even one character, accounts may not display properly in mdaemon. If you turn off word wrap, you can see the spacing that must be maintained for accounts to display properly in mdaemon. Now let's take a brief look at the remaining folders in the mdaemon directory. The backup directory contains backup copies of your mdaemon configuration files. When you select Backup Configuration Files under the File menu, a copy of all configuration files is placed here. Gateways and Gateway Contents are stored in the Gateways directory. All mdaemon logs are stored in the Logs directory. If we look inside this folder, we have logs for each type of activity. Let's go over the logs that you'll use most frequently when troubleshooting mail delivery issues. The AirSync log file is used by ActiveSync and can be used when troubleshooting ActiveSync issues. The mdaemon anti-spam and md-spamd logs show spam filtering activities. If Security Plus is installed, the mdaemon antivirus log shows all antivirus activity. When a message passes through the content filter, if any content filter rules are triggered, that information is written to the mdaemon content filter log. IMAP mail collection activity is written to the mdaemon IMAP log. Multipop mail collection activity is written to the mdaemon multipop log and pop mail collection activity is written to the mdaemon pop3 log. The mdaemon routing log shows the path a message takes as it travels through the mail queues. This log is very useful for troubleshooting mail delivery issues. Inbound and outbound SMTP activity is written to the SMTP in and SMTP out logs. If someone from an outside domain says they sent an email message to one of your users, but you don't see a connection attempt from their server in the SMTP in log, then it is likely that the message didn't reach mdaemon and was blocked in front of the mail server at the firewall. World client activity is written to the world client log file. Now let's go up one level and look at the other folders used by mdaemon. You'll find folders for your content filter, world client, and web admin configuration files. The primary world client configuration file is the worldclient.ini file located in the world client directory. You will also find a corresponding webadmin.ini file located in the web admin directory. The docs directory contains historical documentation. The history text file contains a list of features and fixes that were introduced in previous versions of mdaemon. And the ancient history file shows features and fixes for much older versions of mdaemon. Spam filter settings are stored in the spam assassin directory. When you make spam filter configuration changes, Many of those settings are reflected in the local.cf file located under the rules directory in the spam assassin folder. Your public folders are stored in the public folders directory and your mail queues are stored in the queues directory. Public folders and mail queues can be moved to a different physical drive if desired as long as you update the mdaemon.ini file to reflect the correct folder locations. Remember the mdaemon.ini file is located in the mdaemon app directory. All mail is stored in the Users folder. Inside the Users folder, you'll find a separate folder for each domain. Then, inside each domain folder, you'll find a folder for each user. Open up a Users folder to view the email messages, which are files that end in .msg. You can open these messages with Notepad to view their headers, including the From, To, Subject, and Message ID headers. This can be useful when troubleshooting mail delivery issues. This flat file structure makes it easy to locate files and rebuild specific directories. For example, if you are experiencing a problem with world client and you need to rebuild the world client directory, 
You can do so by shutting down mdaemon, renaming the world client directory, and reinstalling mdaemon. A fresh copy of world client will be installed leaving all other files intact. This concludes this overview of the mdaemon file structure.